Superman here. I'm going to build my own server case. Just came in. So the reason this server case came about was my buddy Hashforce DM'd me on Twitter. He's a great guy. You really, really need to give his channel a follow. He is a very, very intelligent man and has great content and the best shed I've ever seen in my life. And if you ever want to see how to recover from getting wrecked, this man is the model to do it. So anyway, I had posted that video about how I'm dying of space and I think I need to suck it up and buy server cases. Well, he gave me a pretty inexpensive alternative. He said that if I buy this case, you can either buy the one, the single fan or the double fan. I bought the double fan plus this motherboard, which was actually $10 cheaper when I bought it and $25 cheaper when he bought it, but it's still a great deal along with uh, any kind of EG EVGA 1600 watt power supply. You can get this one for 95 bucks on here and some splitters, which cost 14 bucks. You can build yourself a great quality GPU A card mining rig case. So let's look at the server case first. Uh, this is my first time opening it, and let's just see what it looks like. This was uh, it's like 109 bucks. I'll put links down below. It wasn't too bad. All right, so this ain't bad. Not bad at all. Uh, it came with all the screws and standoffs I need. I got the eight fan version because I just want better airflow. It's got the two fan hubs. And it looks like everything else I need. So let's put this aside and open up the riserless motherboard. No, I just got it. It came really packed. Comes with a Celeron, uh, four gigs of laptop RAM and uh, flash drive uh, memory. This thing is honestly really not designed to do anything but mine. I'm gonna flash that to Hive. And basically it seems like it's just drop in here, get it all plugged in. Uh, let me show you my power supply, by the way. So one of the reasons this was appealing to me was I already had a 1600-watt P2 server, uh, P2 Supernova power supply, which will just slot right in here, and I ordered enough splitters to take care of this. So this whole server should cost me, I don't know, like 250-ish. Uh, I'll get the exact total at the end. So let's get building it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the motherboard in with the standoffs. All right, so we lined up the holes. It actually took me an extra time because I, of course, screwed them in the wrong holes. And now we're going to pop out the hard drive to flash it, and we're going to put thermal pad or paste on and get this cooler on. It's got a star sticker on it. Be right back. So it, it mostly lines up in here, which is cool. I mean, I know the GPUs are going to go on this rack. Uh, this one screw didn't line up, which messed me up a little bit, but I think that's all right. Overall, this is really, really easy to build. So let's go ahead and just start putting it all together. All right, so when you put this in, don't forget to run the fans under for the fan hub. I did, and it was annoying to fix. So we're going to screw this back in. Uh, so far, it's honestly not that bad to build. I feel like if I built a bunch of these at once, I could probably do it pretty fast. All right, so it's in. Now, I mean, you're going to have to reach in. Like, hold on, let me show you. You're going to have to reach in to get to the motherboard and all that, the USB plugs and the Ethernet cable, but that doesn't matter. I mean, it's not like you're going to cut yourself. The fans are not close at all there's this much of a gap so like you know you're going right here and the off the power switch is in the back so i can't see a world where you would ever need to get close to the fans so let's go ahead and put the power supply in i just got to clean up the power supply as in move sorry remove some of the cables i don't need and then get ready to split split this thing so this thing is going to hold eight 3060 ti's in it um yeah, 83060Ti's in it, I think, is what I'm going to put in it. So it should be just fine on a 1600 watt. I mean, I know it would be just fine. Putting the power supply in, <clears throat> you got to unscrew this thingy as I tried to put my power supply in and realized it didn't fit. This is definitely like a lot of trial and error. I think the second time I did this would be a lot faster. But it is pretty intuitive. I mean, like, they give you everything you need to kind of make it work, which is surprising. Usually these DIY solutions that are parted together from different things don't work. Shout out to Hashforce, who I'm currently bugging as I'm trying to figure out how to plug these in. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight PCIe slots here. And I know they're for risers, and risers take up to 75 watts. So I'm only trying to figure out if I need... There's only nine PCIe slots here. So if I split these, right, I mean, it gives me 18. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'll need 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I guess it'll work. It, it just, it, it's weird because the math doesn't seem like it works, but maybe I'm just losing my mind. 
Let's uh, let's go ahead and, and do this. And I also need two splitters for the fans too. This is really weird. I might like double split or something. I don't know. I'm I'm honestly losing <laughs> losing my mind. I've never built a server before, but I'll figure it out. So let's get this power supply screwed in. Oh the weird part, right? So this has nine PCIe slots. You need eight theoretically for the GPUs. How much power do the risers actually draw? I'm probably gonna get an Elmore Labs PDU, or I, I'm gonna take my Elmore Mel Labs PDU and measure it. But I have two options. So the first option is using both of these split twice to give you four to power the motherboard, which is more than enough. I mean, how much does a motherboard use? And risers hardly use any. You can split like three risers on one PCIe because they technically can draw max 75 watts, but they never do with lower power cards. Or I could play it safe and use all of these and only put seven cards in here. So... That's a tough part. Like I could, I guess I could get another CP or um, power supply, and I might actually have to power these fans. Just drop another power supply somewhere in here. I don't. I honestly don't know. Um, I could also just put six in here, which would seem a little silly, but I could. I could just theoretically run six and have enough power to power the fans, or I could just split this more. I don't. I need to see how much power the. The fans use so it says it's 1.50 uh, I'm gonna go try to figure this out I'll be right back all right so 12 volt 1.5 amp uh, fan we use 18 watts a pop which means I would get to I would get about get about 288 watts per each of these which means I could theoretically have one of both of these power both of those and the fan I mean, this can't, I mean, we're probably not another GPU, which means I'm probably only putting seven in here to be on the safe side. And I think that's how we're gonna handle it. Yeah, I think so. So seven, because they're not, you know these aren't gonna power 75 watts on a 30, uh, 60 Ti, they never do. So I think seven is where I would go, uh, which is kind of annoying. I wish these had, if this had one more PCIe slot, I would be just fine but it doesn't, so I think seven is where I'm at, and obviously there'll be wasted power for getting this one powered, but it is what it is. All right, I will um, I will be right back as I get this hooked in. All right, so this is a weird one, but I finally have it. I think I have it. So, the, like I told you before, these can hold, this, this, this cable can do 260, or 288 watts, all right? So, I'll put the diagram above. So 288 watts times two is almost is is almost 600 watts on a motherboard with risers. There's no way it's going to take that much. The motherboard probably takes like I don't know, maybe like 80 watts, and the risers don't draw that much. So if I do two of these and one 3060 on one 3060 Ti on two of these, I feel comfortable doing it. I'm going to monitor the crap out of it, uh, but I think that's the way to go. I'm going to have to power the fans with another server power supply, or if I can find a good Molex adapter, I found this one. I don't think it'll work because it's only uh, three pin and I need four. And But if I can find one, I have the two Molex cables, so I can keep it to one power supply. If not, I'll have to use a server power supply somewhere in here. Not as efficient, but it's fine. So... Like I said, we're gonna plug these in and then we um, we'll go from there. Man, back and this build had to take a pause for a few days because I ran out of eight pin. I'm sorry, I ran out of PCIe cables. So with the nine, right? You can sp I split one of them four ways to power this motherboard because most of these risers take maybe 20, 30 watts max on a 3070, which is what. I'm putting in here okay so but what I was short is I needed I could really only afford to put one on here because I needed the other eight to power the graphics cards and I wanted to use one per graphics card now some people say that you can kind of split them in between the graphics card and the motherboard and I'm not saying they're wrong and I'm not saying I'm right, I'm saying what makes me feel comfortable. At the end of the day, you have to do what makes you guys feel comfortable. So, this is where my pal, 
the veteran miner came in right here. You can see his package is pretty sweet. I ordered off of him two. These are really good quality too. These are uh, these hooked into the P, uh, CPU slot, and they are six pin. So I can use these to power these four slots right here. And then what that will allow me to do is it will allow me to take one of these and split these between the fans and the GPU. So 37 or 3070s take like 150 watts max. These can power 250 watts. I did the numbers. All of these fans take up a total. These can do actually like 285 watts. Sorry. But all of these fans total take up 65 watts. So if you split them in half, it's like 30 some watts each. So I can comfortably put this into a 3070 and a fan. Uh, one of the fan controllers, because each fan controller only controls four fans. And I will be good to go and safe. So with that in play, let's start getting everything installed. One veteran miner cable installed. These things are great, man. I can't say enough. This is not a paid advertisement. I paid for these. These, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. These weren't cheap. They were 30 bucks a pop. But the cables are very, very high quality. You're supporting a content creator and you're supporting a veteran own business so it doesn't really get much better than that like these cables are great if you really care about quality cables and people do i think these are worth buying and like honestly they were 30 bucks a pop but the ones on amazon were like ten dollars and the quality stunk so i had no problem paying for these especially when i was able to get such a good deal on the rest of this motherboard let me get this other one installed plus he has different shades of green which is creep man's color and he thinks that's awesome so we're going to get this plugged in and as you can see um, you're basically using everything on the power supply except the 24 which you have to jump which when you turn this on it'll just pop everything on so I don't really know if you need an on switch which is kind of nice which I think I actually hooked up even though I didn't need to hook up let me just finish this up and see on this one we split the six pin onto the fan controller which only controls four fans and then have these two for the 3070 now remember guys you don't have to buy these with the eight fans but it was ten dollars more for the four fans and it just seemed like a no-brainer so this is the server case built uh again the prices i'm sure they're ever changing i paid 50 for the motherboard i paid 109 for the server case i think i actually paid 60 total for the motherboard 109 for the server case the power supply i had i actually ended up getting it for free in a trade a long time ago uh the veteran miner cables cost me 60 and these splitters cost me 50 I think I'll put a price in the description down below as well and I'll put one on the screen so these cost me I think like 15 so all in all you're talking uh, you know 150 to 10 like 230 for this whole build now obviously the power supply but I think you can get these on eBay for like three or probably for like three I'm, I'm sorry for like a hundred bucks so you could probably build this total for like 330 ish now I mean it's an, it's an X8, and it's definitely not as good as the ones you can get from, say, GPRisers.com, but it's half the cost, and it's definitely not as good as an Octominer, but it's a lot cheaper, and I think it's better quality than those ones you see on Amazon for, like, 400 bucks, and this one is not as tight of a fit. That being said, this was a lot of work to put in, and when I say a lot of work, I mean just getting all the cables wired correctly and trying to figure out how I would wire them up. I think now I could do this way faster than the first time around. So if you don't mind doing some of your own work, and if you don't mind the fact that you probably can't power anything more than a 3070 Ti in here, if you wanted to use an EVGA power supply, then I think you're in great shape. You can also use server power supplies, which are a lot easier to use, but I wasn't sure how to screw them in. So, you know, you, they say you get what you pay for it. You're basically doing all the work yourself and saving a bunch of money. If you like that, that's great. If you want to do it yourself option, then you probably want to go with the GPRisers.com server cases or even the Amazon ones. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. I'll have another video of me populating the server case in the future. Crew man out.